Well, it is uh, 5.30 in the morning, and uh, we're, we're here in Los Angeles, well, outside Los Angeles in Santa Clarita. And today is a very special day. We're headed up to see our good friend Carlos, who has a very unique car that we're going to be uh, taking on from him. And you're going to come along with us for the whole ride, like it or not. You, just, you have to. You're already here. You might as well just, might as well just keep at it. How are you feeling? Tired. You ready, ready to go to Northern California? Where are we going? That light is so bright. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Beautiful Santa Clarita morning. Where are we even going? Uh, that's a great question. Um, we're going to uh, an hour outside of Sacramento. Oh, we'll see how many caravans. Caravans are out on the road today. I think it's the it, middle of it. It is, and it's very, whoa. Well, I'm tired of driving. Let's go home. <laughs> All right. Well, we're headed north. About an hour south of Sacramento is our good friend Carlos. Carlos has a forward control Land Rover, a 101, uh, that he no longer has... Uh, the room for desire <laughs> desire for uh it's not moved in a long time it's been sitting waiting to uh kind of get brought back to life uh, there's been some wiring issues i guess there's been some uh general issues with the car whatever it's been uh, sort of in pieces and uh sitting for i don't know anywhere from seven to ten years it's it's hard to say uh, exactly nobody really remembers so uh abigail and uh, chris that doesn't listen to the show and I are going to uh, head up there. We're going to get it on the trailer, gonna bring it back down to uh, the workshop, and we're going to try to get it running. It runs a Rover V8, so it's not that different from the Stage 1. The axles are different, a few things like that. But for the most part, the you know the, the actual engine stuff, the drivetrain stuff, is very similar, if not identical, to a stage one slash original Range Rover. And uh, yeah, now we don't know if it's 24 volt or if it's 12 volts, so that'll be interesting. Uh, again, it has some kind of electrical issues anyways, so who knows. Uh, if it is 24 volt, it's a little tricky. It uses a special distributor and a special generator, and so we'll have to get all that stuff sort of sorted out. That's gonna be fun. We're gonna, you know. Chris, how about the, uh, what's the traffic report this morning? It's, uh, it's clear. How much longer? Two hours? We're only halfway there? How's, uh, how's the trip going, Steve? Uh, trip's going uh, pretty good. We're uh, just getting gas for the first of what I think will be four times. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. And uh, yeah, it's going to be great. I'm looking. You need some washer fluid for those bugs? Yeah, i got to get some. Chris is going in to get washer fluid. Chris, how's, uh, how's the trip so far? Uh, it's uh, pretty good. I mean, we'll see how the second half goes. Uh, going, uh, we had a strong first uh, quarter getting out of the Starbucks and the coffee uh, early in the morning, and now, uh, you know, we'll see how it uh, goes in, the, in this last little bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we had a strong first half. Uh, everybody played great, and uh, looking forward to getting out there. <laughs> Thank you.
from Abigail. Are we there yet? Tell Abigail Hall, no. Sending to Abigail. Yeah. So we're just coming into, uh, just coming into the pickup city here. We still can't remember what it's called, um, but uh, you know, it's a, it's a town here in uh, Northern uh, California. We're, uh, we're gonna do a quick drop off uh, at a at a gas station here, fill up before we load the car, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Chris, uh, let's do, uh, what's the traffic like? Let's go to a quick traffic report. Traffic is uh, not bad, pretty well, busier than, than when we started. Wash your tiny hands. How's it going, Chris? Uh, can we get a word? Can we get a word before you get in there? How, how's it? How's it been? Well, we're into the last uh, the last stretch here. We're gonna go and uh, load up this uh, vehicle. I think I think we're gonna succeed. It's been a tough game so far, but uh, I think we're gonna pull in. The Talking, you can ask Carlos. All of a sudden, I just sort of stop. I'm like, they're coming. Why? Yeah. It's like I can hear the car. Oh, there we go. Hello. 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 Hello.
Yeah, what are you doing? Mechanical I'm advantage. A, yeah, just, just giving it a two, two to one, one mechanical advantage. Because pulling it up. So heavy? Yeah, putting it up that ramp with this little guy. We just want to make sure we got plenty of two. Math, Abigail. Remember we talked about math? Okay. Brakes off. Brakes off, Carlos. Here we go. Last little bit. What's up? Chris, how's it going? Feeling out there? I mean, it's been a good game. Uh, pretty rough in the in the in the in the last quarter there, but we managed to pull through it. We um, had to do a little a little mechanical advantage to uh, help out this uh, tiny baby screw winch get the big beast up onto the trailer, but uh, but we, we we got through it okay. Yeah. Please do come see us, eh? Come down to LA. Definitely. Come see us. Yeah. 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 So not quite LA. Not you don't quite. have to go that far. So a little less. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we picked up the forward control and it is uh, safely uh, on the trailer behind us. We are uh, going to go for a celebratory lunch at a place called Pea Soup Anderson's, which is on the uh, the five interstate on the way back to uh, on the way back to Santa Clarita as we head uh, head back south. Uh, so we're going to get uh, some delicious pea soup, and uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to then uh, make a quick little uh, three hour jaunt back down to the workshop from Pea Soup Anderson's, and uh, yeah, we'll get this car unpacked from its trailer and we'll start taking a look at it. Now, the interesting thing is, is Carlos has uh, let us know that this, this was actually an expedition vehicle that went from London to Cape Town, South Africa at some point in its life. And it was painted blue at the time and it had a bunch of different uh, sponsor uh, sort of things on it. So uh, we're definitely gonna find out more about that because maybe we restore it to its uh, expedition uh you know uh, trim again and uh you know sort of show it off that way i don't know we'll have to see but uh as for now we got some driving ahead of us and uh some delicious pea soup ahead of us so it's abigail's first time at pea soup anderson so it's gonna be big yeah it's gonna be huge here's the junk we've got about three hours to get home and uh, we are uh, about to turn on to the uh, 152 to get ready to start heading back towards uh, the workshop we're about like I said we're about three hours 315 away from the workshop so Oh, it shouldn't be too bad of a drive. We've got to go up and over the grapevine, which is always super fun. Uh, I have towed a few Land Rovers up and over the grapevine in my day. This is a fun entrance to the freeway where you just have to kind of be going freeway speed all of a sudden. Yeah, you so have to drive on that shoulder. This is going to be fun. Well, we are in the last leg now. We are uh, just filled up with gas for like, what, sixth time or something? I don't know. We're getting uh, 8.9 miles to the gallon um, on the new Defender 110. Yeah, this thing's really heavy. Really, really heavy. And uh, it uh, now we're going up a super, super steep hill. So uh, we'll get lift. 
Yeah, maybe we'll get even less. Maybe we'll go to six miles per gallon or something. I don't know. It's also a little bit windy. Oh, that was on fire just recently. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, we got uh, we got that going for us. So uh, here we go. Okay, I learned a little something, right? Uh, mechanical advantage. You use this winch on this angle off the fence post to give it a little tug and pull it into essentially these two spots. Oh, how's, how's your day been? I mean, it's been pretty chill. I, um, I drank coffee and did a puzzle and uh, did not drive up to Sacramento and back to get a forward control, so. I was with the wrong Barris, it sounds like. <laughs> I don't know. Uh -oh. You going to preschool? No. All right. Well, this is it. We just dropped the forward control off at the workshop. We're now going to return the trailer and call it a night. Successful uh, round trip up to Northern California and back. Successful. Uh, forward control recovery. We managed to uh, winch it uh, around the corner and into a space where I can now winch it into the workshop when it's time to uh, get it rolling. So we'll uh, next up, we're gonna we're gonna get her all taken apart and figure out what parts we need. Figure out uh, what we have to do to get the engine running. We'll probably bore scope all the cylinders. Just make sure everything looks good. Probably bore scope the tank as well. The tank smells. Super bad, yeah, it smells real jelly. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do what we can there. Uh, hopefully we can get that tank salvaged. If not, we'll get a new tank, uh, but we can also uh, just get it running off of, uh, you know, off of a soda bottle of uh, gasoline for now and uh, bypass the, the fuel pump and filters and tank and everything just to see if we can get it going and drive around with, uh, you know, a Sprite bottle full of gasoline. Oh, oh Chris. Huh? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a rough day, about 50 to a half hours, um, up and back, um, dropping off now at about, what, 9 o'clock or so, and, um, uh, you know, but at the, uh, at the end there, you know, Darth Defender showed up and uh, really helped uh, pull one in for the win, so, good one. All right. One last high five. Uh, one more high five. One last high five. Bye, Chris. All right, see you later. Well, it's uh, that's it. That's it. We did it. We uh, we went to Northern California. We got a forward control Land Rover. We brought it back here to uh, Southern California, and uh, yeah, we're gonna start. We're gonna start going through it uh, this week. And uh, it looked about like this when it started this morning. Yeah. Uh, we started in the dark, and we're finishing in the dark, which is how, which is how we like to do it. So, yeah. All right. That's it. <laughs>